There's some signings around the league, starting off with H2K, which is just a massive debacle and mess of an organization. Now they're signed, they've signed Shook to the jungle because Cadrill, that one week experiment, did not work in the jungle. So Shook is coming back. It's been a little while since we've seen him. We last saw him playing on NIP. Oof, that, that was quite a bit ago. Uh, this is definitely something where we talked about H2K and the absolute bona fide dumpster fire that they were looking like last week with Cadrill in the jungle. Just not sure what they were even thinking they were trying to do. Now we start to see a better decision made here. Getting Shook in to play with uh, Selfie and the rest of the team, I, th I think is definitely a step up. Now, you know, the question is, is Shook gonna be any better than, you know, what Santorin would have possibly brought to this roster with how passive he was playing the, uh, this split? Yes, he was playing better than Kadriel, but I don't know if it's gonna be better than what Shook will bring to this team. I think that this is a good pickup for H2K and a finally a positive move for this franchise. Yeah, and I mean, we're many years removed from when Shook was thought of as the best jungler in EU back <laughs> on Alliance when they won the 2014 summer split. He's hopped around to a few different teams, but I mean, there's still no questioning the talent that this guy has. Obviously, he's gonna be an upgrade over a guy who's playing his off role in the jungle, uh, maybe he's gonna be more proactive than Santorin. He might feed his face off <laughs> some of these games, but you know, I think a move like this might net them two wins. Yeah, risk reward. Two I wins. think that this is at least a proactive move, right? This is definitely yeah. something, and one that you can actually say, there's some logic behind this one, right? There, this one probably, probably, I'm not guaranteeing, probably won't fall flat on its face. Shook will try and make some plays. They just might not work out sometimes. <laughs> uh, the SKT Marin rumors are dead. For now. For now. Uh, it's announced Marin is joining the LPL again. After he was there with LGD for a bit, he came back to Korea. Now he's back to China playing on top gaming. You probably haven't heard of them. Why? Because they're 0-7, yeah. probably the worst team in the league. So it looks like Marin's looking for a payday. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Marin is just looking to cash out. I love, I think someone was saying that Marin said, no, 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 I want to go to a top team, not top gaming. So this is def yeah, definitely going to be something to see. I don't know why, you know, you had a nice kind of, you know, not retirement, but you were taking a, a little break here in spring and all of a sudden, let me go play for an 0-7 team. Questionable decision, but Marin is definitely looking to just pick up some cash. And you know what, to say for his play, what they're gonna be getting, you're getting one of the better top laners, arguably in the world right now, but someone who has been, you know, spending time off this split, who could be coming in quite rusty, and again, has no type of, you know, synergy built in or type of, you know, coordination with the rest of this team. So it's definitely, an interesting decision made by Top Gaming and Marin himself to join them, but one that I think we can definitely all say is mostly made for money. Yeah, and if you're looking at Top Gaming, I, I can only think the only reason that they would assign him is just to have someone interested in their team. Because, <laughs> yeah. I mean, 0-7 struggling right. on the split. I don't think even bringing in Marin, who's been a, not at the level we've seen before in the last couple splits with Afrika, uh, he's not going to completely turn this team around. So for top, it's just to bring in a little bit of a fan base. And Marin, I think it's a great training grounds for him because I think he's going to be coming back in 2018 summer. And you're not going to get on a good team halfway through the split unless they're really struggling. Even SKT seems to have kind of committed more so to tall going forward. So, I mean, Marin, nice training grounds for summer. And you're going to get paid a hefty sum. Good call. Yeah, definitely not a bad decision. Not one that you can throw any type of hate on. Marin, go get paid, buddy. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.